How's it going, everybody? Nerd Rock here, doing some mob farming just to get some mob drops. Uh, not sure if I really need any of them, but string's always good. Uh, so, we're going to find a player's base to tour today and uh, do a little mob hunting right now, and we'll catch up on some MC Good Times news. Uh, number one is that PvP is coming back, guys. I, uh, I disabled it initially because there were a few people on the server that were very vocal about wanting it that way, but I think uh, overall it's made for a very boring atmosphere, unfortunately. And uh, what I'm hoping is we can find some sort of compromise in between, like, full-on PvP and just no PvP. And, uh... What I mean by that is we can have some informal rules, like, though PvP is enabled, generally speaking, we will ask that you not uh, use that as a means of bullying somebody or stuff like that. But, uh, you know, if you see someone out in the wild and they got some armor on and you want to take it, you are allowed to do that now. That is how the server will work. Uh, and I will work on getting the player plot bases in the town, the player plots, uh, available pretty soon. Uh, but it is a... Uh, Pretty time-consuming work, and I got some other things I'm doing right now, so that's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> so that may actually have to take some time before I get the player plots done. Uh, but I will try to get that done as soon as possible. And in the town, there will be no PvP, so... We'll get that going. I also have to open up some more player shop plots, as I know... I believe they're all taken now, so I'm going to work on that. Again, though, it's a fairly time-consuming process, and to be completely honest with you, part of me kind of regrets even starting it, because I got a lot of other stuff I'm working on lately, and I would, uh, I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute, and I just would rather work on that stuff at the moment, uh, like Quirky Cat, the game I'm developing with Pwahi. You're gonna hear me talking about that a lot, because I really want to, uh, raise some awareness for it, because by the time it releases, it sure would be great if we were a handful of people ready to play it, you know, right away. Um, so yeah, if you guys have ever played the game Fall Down, it's a lot like that game. There's like, the, the screen goes downwards, and there's some platforming elements and power-ups, and it's, it's a pretty fun game in my opinion, but of course I'm biased. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to showing you that. Oh man, I'm, oh, there's, this, I'm in a horrible place. Run, run, run. I love how in Minecraft, when you're jumping, that is as fast as you can go. <laughs> Running is not quite as fast as jumping. See, now I just hop everywhere I go. I always feel like I'm skipping. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, wow, they are really... Can I, can I do this? Ha <laughs> ha Not so smart, are you, zombie? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to make it home. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you stupid. <laughs> that dumb zombie, man. <laughs> you think with all that brains he's been eating, he'd be smarter. I'm sorry for that one. I know, that was bad. Alright. There's home sweet home over there. Let's make it home. And we'll find someone's base to tour. And hopefully we'll see some cool, interesting stuff. Because if not, it's band time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like this little area here. We're like right on the shore. There's a player base over there. There's a player base over there. Oh, and I, I made a little carrot farm. Planted a few cactuses. And Nova brought over a rainbow sheep. So, you have that over there. And someone, looks like someone left a sign here. Peter was here. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe we can go to Peter's base. And here we are at Peter's base, which in no way has anything to do with Dave. He definitely didn't help build this at all. He had definitely had nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I guess he's going to show us around. Show us around. <laughs> we'll see what's going on here. It's a pretty nice place. Really big. I like the windows. Dave wants to come here. Uh, he, he he did help with this. That's why I'm joking around. Uh, let's see. Dave's home and Peter's home. Why, nerdy? Why what? <laughs> Alright, so I guess he's not going to show us around. So I'll just look around. Let's spy. Let's see what kind of goodies they have. Empty chests. They're poor. Oh, wait. 
No, they're not poor. They have five ink sacks and a glass bottle. Ooh, and ender pearls. Oh, there's all the goodies. Everything's all in that one chest. No, no, I, I, I returned to my original statement. <laughs> These guys are pretty poor. <laughs> all this stuff's in the old base. Oh, I see. This is a new. This is their new place. Oh, what are they working on here? What is this? Let's see. Ah, uh, I think this is. This looks like it's a chicken farm, if I had to guess. Ah, uh, but this is highly inefficient. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to help them fix that one up. <laughs> you need a comparator, guys. You need a comparator. Uh, what else we got here? We got the lava room. It looks like. What's this? We got a little nether wart, and okay, this is like the little potion setup. They don't have any water yet. Hi, Coco. <laughs> I want to see what's down here. Got a little hidden segment here. Ooh. So I guess we're in. Yep, we're in a mesa biome. All right, that looks pretty awesome. Is this is like a little elevator setup, so they can get down. The server has an elevator system where you just use iron blocks as elevators. Ooh. Okay, so cool. This brings down to uh, brings them down to the mine. What is this here? No, really, what is this here? What the heck is this? Uh. <laughs> I gotta know. Let's find out what this is. What is this? It looks like it might be another chicken farm, but don't they have one upstairs? Lava pit thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this is the extremely inconvenient furnace room. I like this, just because I find it funny. <laughs> uh, sorry, Max, I'm touring this space right now. Uh... <laughs> The longest hallway ever. Oh, I see. That's going to be a blaze farm. I don't think that's going to work. Huh. I'll let them do their thing. Slash TP. Denied. <laughs> Sorry, Max. Like I said, touring the base right now. Ooh, let's see what's over here. Something up? Ah, uh, this is what we just came down before. Oh. What else? What else we got here? Oh, Max. He, oh, they, well, he wants him here? Okay, I'll just bring him here. <laughs> He's probably really confused now. <laughs> There's more stuff. Okay. Oh, wow. These guys got a lot of... Uh... Someone was being dumb and destroyed by my... I'm going in without permission. <laughs> Not <just> kidding. <laughs> oh, did I trap him in there? Oh, that would have been funny. Okay. Furnaces. <laughs> what is this? Is this like a sauna? <laughs> it's a sauna with eggs and armor inside for some reason. <laughs> Little cobble house. Interesting. What else we got? What else we got? Another house. They sure do have a lot of territory. Did he get stuck? <laughs> oh, poor Max. Alright, let's let him out. <laughs> That's too good. Alright, let's see what else we got. I like that they have paths everywhere. Paths always make builds look super, super pro. And what is this? Some wonky stairs. What is this? What do we got here? Oh, this is cool. It's like all ruins-y. But then there's an elevator on it. And now it's all snowy. It's the Tower of Many Climates. This is nice. This is cool. Ah, oh, so now you can see their whole, their whole uh, fortress there over here. 
Oh, they are right next to the warp. So there's the wild warp right there. This is all their land. Pretty gigantic base, guys. Pretty epic. <laughs> Dude. All the way down. Oh, there's a lower level, too. There's an egg farm. A random empty room. Another random empty room. Oh, cool. Wow, these guys are crazy. You guys built a lot of stuff. These are where all their uh, supplies are, I guess. The wood, the food, the plants. Oh, there's nothing in them, he says. Okay. Wheat farm. Random room. <laughs> okay, this looks like it was a, a spawner trap. Looks like they took the spawner out of it, though. Well, why would you do that? Put one back in there. <laughs> What's this over here? Enchanting room? I'm guessing. No? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> Just break it down their base here. Uh, no, there's nothing there. <laughs> uh, Max is following me like I have any idea where I'm going. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh, there it is, okay. Is there anything else? Can go up. Sugarcane farm. Alright, this base is really cool, but guys, you, you've made your base into a catacomb maze. I, how do you find anything? <laughs> What's this? If I did not make it clear, do not enter. Oh, what? <laughs> Such sass. Those are some sassy signs. Sassy signs. <laughs> oh, look at that. I've been given taters. What is this? So the AFK thing? I don't know. Peter's room. Tater farm. I think that that seems to be just about everything. Where's Dave? He wants to show me something. What? Oh, there's another. Ah, oh, okay. Carrots. This place just keeps going and going. <laughs> Oh, and there's another one here. Are you serious? <laughs> this is the most crazy maze I've ever seen. You guys gotta have some kind of award for this. You gotta get, like, this has gotta be the most insane, convoluted base ever made. <laughs> just, just farms, just everywhere. <laughs> oh, man. Where, where, where was that elevator? Oh, no, I'm stuck here forever. <laughs> get me out of this place. There it is. All right. Uh, another random room and another elevator. All right. It's got to be a joke, right? <laughs> well, these guys sure took advantage of the elevator plug-in. That's for sure. Oh, what's this? It looks like they got all right. some sort of spawner set up here. Let's go see. Or is this the same one we saw before? Uh, I don't have any way in there. Up one, maybe? Alright, well, this, this place is crazy. <laughs> I don't even think I can find my way out of here, so I'm probably just going to go straight to spawn. And I wanted to show you guys something before I uh, ended the episode, because I did... I We brought the statues over from the last... Um, the last server. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'm just going to go to spawn. Ooh, whoops. Sorry, guys. Here. Uh, I'm going to go to spawn. Go to spawn, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, Capern made these really, really awesome. Uh... <laughs> it could be better. Capern <laughs> uh, made these really awesome statues. There's PJ. Uh, let's see if I can show them all. Do -do -do -do. Capern's over here. <laughs> I don't know what they're fooling around over there. Uh, there's Capern. And... Over here we have Colleen. And, 
uh, less, but certainly not least. I'll show you my statue. So basically, we all built stuff inside the statues, and uh, I'd show you everybody's. I'm going to leave it to them to show you, because I think Capern has a channel. He hasn't done much with it. PJ just started a channel, so I'll let them show it to you guys. Uh, but for now, just going to go into creative mode. Um, well, I'll go into, yeah, I'm going to go into creative mode. Uh, just so I can show you guys how some of the things didn't work and speed this up a little bit. I'm not going to give myself any kind of cheats, don't worry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we all have a little... Yeah, Chris Blibbity. Here's me. And uh, I'm going to go inside here. And basically, we all did we all did little things inside the statue. Like, Aparna always calls himself a troll, so inside of his, there's like all kinds of command blocks that like make noises and all that stuff, so... What I wanted to do is, since I consider myself a survivalist, I made my whole statue a fully automated survival base. So, as you can see, we got a bunch of watermelon and sugarcane, and believe it or not, all of this was produced inside this base. Uh, so I'll show you. Here's a little sleeping spot. Here's the uh, portal, which you can light. I have it off for now, just to uh, be less annoying. But yeah, could light that and go to the nether. And as we go up, here you're going to see some of the redstone. You'll see the tiny little farms I have set up here. Uh, this is why I went into creative mode, so I can show you this. So here's the sugarcane farm, right? And uh, uh, basically what happens here is these pumpkins, or melons, I don't remember which is which here, but uh, when it grows, it, comp it completes this redstone circuit. And I'm actually using that as a timer to randomly hit the sugarcane off at... Uh, that sounds crazy, but it works, right? And I just have some um, mine carts over here, and those grab right through this block. So let me show you what happens, basically. We'll just spawn in one just for now. Go like that, and we'll go like that. We'll place that, just so I can show you what happens. And boom. You see that? And all, it all fell into me that time, but usually it'll uh, fall into one of these hoppers or something. So. That's really cool. Yes, I am recording. <laughs> uh, let's go up. And here's the enchanting room. Which is with a hidden piece of trivia. And there is one other thing you can't really see without me going up here. And it is the mob spawner. Uh, there's no actual spawner here. This is just a dark room. Now, in, in an actual survival situation, you would need to really eliminate spawning. But since this is in the middle of spawn, uh, which blocks all the mob spawning, I enabled it just in this little room. So we get... The occasional mob spawning in here, nothing crazy, but you know it's enough. You can see I actually got <laughs> got a couple of things, and it's just a concept anyway. But uh, it's amazing that little tiny farm setup, how much you can get from that, isn't it? Pretty crazy. Uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to come on the server and uh, build something, I will happily tour it. Or if you have something on the server you'd like me to tour, just let me know, and we'll work out a time that I can uh, record that with you. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.